Hey guys, this is John Carnell, and I'm here with the last video in our Genesis Cloud Functions dev drop. We are in the home stretch. We have gone out and configured Genesis Cloud with an integration and a data action. We've written our function locally and tested it. We've uploaded it, and now we want to go out and actually test it in the UI to make sure everything is good to go. So to do that, I've logged into the Genesis Cloud Admin Console. I'm going to go over to Actions. And let's go search for our uh, certificate or our function, excuse me. So if we go here and we click on setup, we can now see that we have our contract uh, that we've defined out here. We're expecting three input variables. We're expecting the echoed responses for those three variables plus the certificate length, length and password length. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the test box box and I'm going to go and enter those parameters. I'm going to go my test. Let's set the input Boolean to true. And let's say this is going to be 200. Now I'm actually going to hit the run action button and the run action button is going to actually execute my Genesis cloud function passing in the parameters that we see up there. So let's go ahead and run the action here. And you're going to see a whole slew of activity because it's going to be essentially behaving like a data action. So we see our output from the run and we see that the echoed input is my test 200. We see that a certificate value is passed in with a length of 1313 and a password length of 14. Sounds about right considering that uh, we um, pass in the certificate and the password from our credentials. But what's really interesting on this test and everything is green. Um, if it wasn't uh, successfully run, we would get an error message and we get a red box coming back telling us exactly what happened. Now, what's interesting is in the operations, unlike your standard data action, a data action that's backed with a Genesis Cloud function is going to have some extra information in it. So we're going to go all the way through. We're going to see our execute, uh, which are pretty much all standard data action steps. But then we can look at the function configuration, which will tell us exactly what runtime is out there. We can see the handler that was executed. We can get the information about the zip record. But what's really interesting is our execution log. So our execution log is only going to be available to us when we hit the test button. And it's going to basically be a structured JSON body that's going to return the last four kilobytes of the run of this particular run. And it's not going to give us a straight up council log message just written out in plain text. But like I said, it's going to be in JSON. So if we go out here, we can see a couple of things. Is one, you notice that we have the uh, credential header that we passed in for the X credential example password, but it has been redacted. So we do not display any values that come from our integration credentials. Those are scrubbed in the logs. You can see that down further when we look at our data that we're parsing out or that we printed out, we have the certificate here. But because the certificate came from our Genesis Cloud integration, it's been redacted. The other thing to notice here is, is that one of our log messages is a JSON body. So we see the log level and then we can see the message that's in here. So you can see just like in our console output that we see the certificate link being printed out. We see any custom messages printed out, but the information has been uh, put in a JSON structure. So pretty much after that point, everything then goes into a standard data action. We're taking this data that's been returned. We're going to be resolving it to what the raw result is gonna be like. We're gonna apply any output transformers to it. And then there is our data and we're validating it against our schema. Everything looks good. And that's pretty much it. So with that being said, this is the end of our Genesis Cloud Functions dev drop. I appreciate everybody hanging out with us till the end. Um, if you have any future questions or concerns, please just go ahead and post them out onto either the YouTube channel or in our developer forum. Just a pro tip, we tend to check our developer forum more, com more often than we do our YouTube channel comments. So with that, I hope you guys all play with the, the Genesis, Cloud, Genesis Cloud functions. It's a super exciting technology because it's just as yet another mechanism in which we can flexibly integrate the third-party services and systems uh, from a Genesis Cloud architect flow. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.